The return of a legend and a red-hot Rebel football squad meant a sellout crowd and a packed grove. There are people everywhere as Vaught Hemingway Stadium today is a hard sellout. Under a canopy of blue, the Grove is a sea of red. Welcome to Eli Manning Day. We could not be happier to be with you on a gorgeous Saturday in late October in Oxford. Hey, it feels amazing. You feel amazing. Everybody don't know this is the Grove. This is what game day is all about. Let's go. The end zone say Manning. Uh, it doesn't get as cool as that. I mean, that is the coolest thing probably that I've ever seen. Ten, got to have a show. It's TV time. Primetime TV for primetime team. It's going to be a hell of a show. Game days are always a homecoming. But this one had an extra twist. LSU's Ed Orgeron was not only once the coach of Ole Miss, but also an assistant under Lane Kiffin, making this quite the reunion. Everybody had a pregame meal. Everybody had a warm-up. The difference between You want a picture-perfect day for football? Come on to Oxford Cannot today. Be better. It is unbelievable. If LSU was going to quiet the raucous capacity crowd in Vaught Hemingway, pass is caught on an out route right in front of AJ Finley. They were going to need an early statement. Johnson hit as he throws. Going deep. Got it. Oh, God. Complete. Down to Trey Palmer. With Sam Williams exactly. right in his ribcage, Johnson yeah. delivers that thing. Low snap. Johnson fires across the middle, and it's first and goal at the five. And now Ty Davis Price, touchdown LSU. Can't do it much better than that. They hit us on the big shot. We had a guy right there to go play the ball. Stop. Okay. All right. Keep our composure. Go play. All right. You're up next series. All right. You're still up. Let's go to lock in and play. Penalties stifled the first two Rebel drives. And now a flag for defensive offsides put LSU in prime position to add to its lead. Handoff, Davis Price, he stacked up off the right side. The Rebels won that battle. Fourth and goal from the three, LSU will go for it. Now we have a whistle and a timeout call. He said we're going to make red zone stops. Here's our chance to get a big yeah, okay? Yeah. Stay ready right now, all right? So Ed Orgeron going for it on fourth down at the three. Guess he's thinking, what are they going to do, fire me? Johnson. Scrambling, throws late, and incomplete, intercepted, in fact, in the end zone. Come on, Mama, they go to throw some up. That's how we get it, right? Right here. I said that. He's a hurry, he's saying, I'm going to go back and play. Yep. The pick by Tysheen Johnson was, simply put, a game changer. No guess. Now they've got a big opening and a first down. Snoop Conner, and you hear the chance of Snoop. Always the danger. You get a little bit greedy. Don't kick the field goal. All of a sudden, the other team goes out the back door and runs it on you. Let's just give it a snoop again. Left side, 30, 35, 40, to the sidelines. Pushed out of bounds into the Tiger bench. Caden Costa to try to put Ole Miss on the board. Got it right down the pipe. Late give there, and it didn't pay off. It's a loss of a yard. Now lops it down the near sidelines, one-on-one, and tapped away. The Landshark defense came alive, holding the Tigers to just 24 yards rushing and zero yards in the air in the second quarter, allowing the score from far offense to find its groove. This is a handoff and a now a reverse. Drummond's going to throw it back to Corral, and he's got it at midfield and out of bounds. So a little dipsy do there from Lane Kiffin. It's got to be a Corral pass, you would think, coming up. No, nope, it's Ely. Here he goes again. Gary and Ely. Down to the two, what a run. Throw, touchdown, Ole Miss. Casey Kelly, the tight end. The yeah, Ole Miss. I got about to get one. Love it. Who drops to throw, fires down the middle, and a strike to Drummond. Battle that former defensive backs in the lineup as one of the wideouts down to the left side. Corral looking that way, fires and got it to him inside the 25. And the former DB make it like a wide out. Out of bounds at the 11. Oh, Ma, get the ball. Let's go, Ma. Matt Corral does it himself. Touchdown, Rebels. Get yourself loose to the sideline. Be ready to go. All right, Bryce, keep yourself loose. You want to keep yourself loose. I got no left. Okay, let's go win. Go win, man. 17 to 7. It's all us. Let's go take it. All right, you're playing okay. Let's go play great. Let's see what we got. On third down. Straight up 
the middle with power is Snoop Connor. Corral all the way. Nope. Yes. And he got it to the 10. Well, Matt just, that is a heads up play to turn that into something. Five yard gain, so second and goal from the five. Parrish still driving, still going. It's a touchdown. Yeah! Lane Kiffin might come across as a pass happy offensive mind, but these days it seems his true love is ground and pound. Back to the ground they go, and it's Connor again. Snoop Connor keeps his balance, and I think he got 10. Last year they ran the ball, and they just continued, no matter who it is, Snoop Connor, Henry Parrish, Jerry on Ely. They got three guys, all a bit different. Nice move by Ely. Jerry and Ely! Touchdown, Ole Miss! That's Ely, an elite player, also plays baseball, and he made the one guy in the whole miss for a touchdown. Yards, 41 seconds. Jerry and Ely, a 36-yard touchdown run. LSU backs against the wall right now in this game. They desperately need a drive and some points. The trend to me, though, is the Ole Miss defense has stood up. Yep. Let's see if they stand up to this third down. Johnson in trouble. Campbell closing and knocking him out of bounds with the football as well. And Max Johnson, after starting really hot, has cooled off. And this one slides off the back of his hand. Ball is loose. And it's covered by Ole Miss. It's an honor. Him. It's an honor. That's him. It's an honor to have this on my neck twice tonight. Let me explain to you what happened. So he had a sack fumble and he didn't get the recovery. Mm -hmm. So he had to make sure he got a recovery this time. That's basically what happened. So, so now offense gonna go score. Defense gonna go back out there, get another three and out, do what he do. We just gonna wrap this game up. Next row. Send them home. Next row. Send One and oh, every row. And off left side, stacked up, short of the first down. Davis Price hammered by Sam Williams, doing a good job for the Rebel defense. They're playing some ball. And Richard, I think at this point, got to be gaining unbelievable confidence on the D side. Johnson takes a snap, throws near side. Kirkman tried to stay in bounds and made the catch, but just ran out of room. Height had really good pressure up the middle. Johnson. Look out behind you, the ball is out and it's covered by Ole Miss again. Cedric Johnson with a recovery, but Williams the guy with a hit. The Rebels forced three turnovers on the day and sacked the LSU quarterbacks five times. Nussmeyer being chased on a blitz up the middle, he's in trouble, he'll be sacked! That's you! Bringing the Magnolia Trophy back to Oxford once again. Whatever head says, it goes. That ain't been a, that's been a rare feeling this year. So I ain't know what to do. But don't worry, we're gonna get right back on track. That's a really good win, okay? You know, was it perfect? No, we know all that, okay? We could have played better, all that stuff. But, you know, let's not forget, all right, that's a big rivalry game there, okay? For the most part, after early on, once we settled down, played some great defense today. Six and one, okay, so you know that sounds pretty good. What did Hesse say? What did Hesse say? 
cheat code. I can play both ways. Ain't too many of them. That's all it is. You know, man count showing out like usual. You know, showed out again at home in front of a sold out crowd. So, that what your band camp do. Playing top of the line defense, which is what we've been working for since I stepped on campus here. And it just feels good, and I can't wait to keep it going. We took care, took care of them Tigers today, man. And it was a great, great team win. Defense played amazing. Like I said right here, this dude, that's what he go by now, Ole Miss fans. That's what he go by. The cheat code, baby. The cheat code.